Hi, I'm Whitney Cal, and I'm excited to bring you The Love Cards by Robert Lee Camp. Today, I'm going to read The Philanthropist Card, The Queen of Diamonds. If your birthday lands on January 15th, February 13th, March 11th, April 9th, May 7th, June 5th, July 3rd, or August 1st, you are the Queen of Diamonds. Um, I want you to know that there's actually two cards that most people have, and it's called the Planetary Card, the Ruling Planetary Card. And if you wanted to pick up this book, it'll tell you more. And I also posted it below. So you can look up your secondary card, and you can listen to it if you want to on the videos. Okay, so like some other cards in the deck, the Queen of Diamonds has much indecision about values. The Three of Diamonds is your karma card. This means they often have difficulty deciding what they want most. The love variety, they love variety and are very creative and resourceful unless they are worrying about money, which they often do. The Queen of Diamonds has expensive taste. When they get money, they like to spend it on items of high quality and usually high price. For this reason, they often spend beyond their means, which perpetuates their financial fears. Despite this, they are one of the most giving cards in the deck. The Nine of Hearts in Jupiter and the Nine of Diamonds Second Karma card give them a natural ability to let go and a natural desire to share their wealth with others. On one level, they represent the rich aunt or grandmother or grandfather who takes you out shopping for some new clothes or buys you an expensive birthday present. The Queen of Diamonds are known to be charming and enjoy the finer things in life. They are constantly seeking new adventures and sometimes relationships as well. The Queen of Diamonds has an innate good business sense and the talent of being able to promote their products or services. They can excel in many areas and have good leadership abilities. Regardless of what they do, they are queens and therefore tend to be mother or nurture others in their work and lives. They have a naturally critical mind that is capable of doing intense analysis and planning. It also blesses them with the ability to see through the deception of others. However, this same mind can become negatively oriented when things don't turn out as they plan. They may then become negative and critical of others. They all tend to have a somewhat pessimistic point of view at times even though they are often unaware of it. They must practice a positive attitude to counterbalance this tendency. The Queen of Diamonds people adopt a spiritual path in life. They can realize a special mission and achieve the heights of spiritual realization and self-mastery. The Queen of Spades is in their Neptune. They also have a soul connection with many of the ancient sciences. A natural attraction to ancient mysteries and secret knowledges promote the study of the eternal truths which helps alleviate many of their mundane problems. If dedicated to a higher goal, there is no limit to how high they can climb in their lives. Some of the, queen, of the world's wealthiest people have been the Queen of Diamonds. Well, there you go. <laughs> Some of the Queen of Diamonds issues concerning relationships. As mentioned earlier, the Queen of Diamonds has some of the most difficult challenges that exist in the area of love. Being headstrong and pr proud, fond of variety, afraid of being abandoned, and having the power to get what they want when they want it can be a troublesome combination. Three or more marriages are common for this card, and even when they seem happily settled down, it is usually only temporary. They are quite charming and have a bit of char charisma that makes it easy for them to start new relationships. The challenge for them is sustaining the relationship once it is started. They usually get their wishes for better or worse and must live with the consequences of their desires. I'm going to read the Queen of Diamonds Love Life. The numbers of cards often have greater significance than we might first suspect. For example, many Eight of Hearts people have eight children or eight special people in their life that are part of their inner circle of loved ones. The Queen of Diamonds has a three of clubs in Venus. And perhaps this is why many Queen of Diamonds have three or more marriages. Of course, there are Queen of Diamonds who have only been married once or those who have never gotten married at all. But this is a curious pattern that is fairly common with this birth card. 
If we look at the Queen of Diamonds life path, we know that there are actually three very important threes there. The first is their Three of Diamonds first karma card that signifies the basic uncertainty they have about what is most important to them in life. The second is their Venus card, the Three of Clubs, and the third is the Mars card, Three of Spades. Venus and Mars are often referred to as the personal planets because the cards found here more than any others reflect how we are in personal relationships, especially marriage, love, and sex. When someone has a three or five in even one of those, those positions, we can expect some variety and changes in their love life. With the two threes, the, the queen of diamonds surpasses most other cards in the deck in the creation of new love relationships. Queen of diamonds often can start relationships easier than they can stay with them. Three energy can become bored and restless if not allowed its expression. Three is the two, two people together in this case, combined with one, the desire for something new. Many Queen of Diamonds are never happy with what they have or they try to create multiple relationships at the same time. The Three of Diamonds First Karma card often creates an underlying fear of not getting enough in the Queen of Diamonds personality makeup. It is usually their hidden fear that motivates many of them to create multiple relationships. Though on the surface, they may profess that they are just bored with their current relationship or they haven't found the right person. I'm gonna jump to the end because we are over six minutes and I'm trying to keep these under six. Uh, with conscious awareness and love, any negative pattern in any birth card can be transformed into a high expression of profound beauty. Yes. So if you want to read more, you know how to get the book. It is Robert Lee Camp. If you want to know your secondary planetary card, look below and you can listen to the video for that one. I hope you enjoyed this and this landed in some way. I really enjoy doing these readings and um, love to help in any way I can. Cheers.